it's a poker table, this metaphor. Yeah. Owen's got a chart, playing by the books, winning consistently. Yeah. Syrup, doesn't look at the cards, all in. All in. We're just, all in. Yeah, we're going. <laughs> all my money. 500k Speaking per coin. Yeah. We're, ch we're chilling. <laughs> we got another classic here. John Numbers and Hayes here on Loser's Top 6. Xeno Saga, the final mix. Couldn't have asked for a more classic, you know, in my mind. Maybe yeah. not. Maybe not doesn't happen often, but... It is, oh! <laughs> it's always a good time when it does happen. A very uh, prolonged zero to death, but Hayes bringing it all of the way. On that this first is also time. a run back from yes. earlier today. I was oh, going to say, wow. I saw them on stream earlier. I yeah. wasn't going to spoil it, but it was a game three. Whoa, what, what the clicking? heck what did, did you that is, that is not what I wanted. Ooble, no. okay. I was Ooble. looking for the caster. I was looking for the bracket the, the information. Thingy my, my that bad. gives us information about the people. You're banned from touching it. Uh, it's, it's over. <laughs> it's a match. match I think you I touched did. it. I'm kidding. <laughs> All right, we're going back to, right back to this. Again, John, down a stock already. Very quick showing from Hayes, who is here to not play business. We're not playing games today. We are playing to win the final Xeno Zaga over here at Xeno Zero Venue. And. We are on this ledge, Numbers able to get that up here into the dash attack, of course, and then interrupting those barrels as well. Now suddenly Hayes offstage finds a way to weave around John, who tries to take the advantage here, and now suddenly it's again back to even. You salute the sun, you go off stage, and you go off stage again. A lot of good pressure with the projectiles too, not even having to get into the scrap either, just side special, neutral special. Really good way to kind of climb back here, but Hayes putting the shield up in time and getting the banana. It's gonna be tough for John to fight back. Oh, wow! Had it, the right idea, but just mistimed it slightly. Yeah, it seems like the scoop hitbox was just inactive, and the awkward, uh, literal hit hurtbox of We Fit Trainer benefiting John in that moment, but to the not even, there's no butts there. He ends up finding the stock, he ends up evening up the game, and deep breathing is only going to make Diddy Kong harder to close out this stock. He's got to find a way to lock down this ledge before he takes too much damage at 30% in a blink of an eye. Also, shouts to the crazy spacing by John Numberson not gets tripped up on the banana on that last stock. It's like it's pixels, I swear. He's, he's aware. cracked, I fear. <laughs> I, I, he's low, low key a robot. Low key. Skynet, I see you. We're going right back into it, however. John getting a tiny little bit of healing from that deep breathing. And now suddenly, this deep breathing being active on We Fit makes Hayes' life a little bit harder. However, we get the trip. We get the monkey flip as well. We get John off stage. And now we have the banana coming through on that ledge. What will numbers do? Going for that soccer ball. Hayes knows it's coming through. And then here it is the John numbers tech of all time. How to pick a banana in 10 easy steps. <laughs> Ten is too many. John makes it look like one. It's like literally one button, yeah. I think. <laughs> John's just seamless when it comes to like playing at every aspect of this game, but the monkey flip kick powers through the ball and powered through the trainer, too, to close out that stock. Two stocks to one here. Hayes still holding on to his general overall lead, but every single time you get into this kind of John numbers gameplay flow, leads don't feel real until the game's over. Right. John's one of those players that the longer a game goes on, the yes. the longer, the more of a chance you have of losing. The percentage goes slowly, goes higher and higher and higher of your loss percentage. And the longer that John plays, he just locks back in, finds out your your mistakes, finds out how to tweak it, his the game plan just slightly enough to make you think you're crazy, right. and then suddenly the lead you had. 3-0 John, John, John Numbers, yeah. move next. I watched John Numbers or it's BDB, and I was like, BDB, you gotta hurry up. <laughs> <laughs> you must hurry. Your lifetime warranty is warrantying. Go. <gasps> ah! Like I said, ah! Yeah. Never mind. <laughs> I was gonna say, I was like, I don't think that's gonna kill. It's always scary. It is still scary, though. Yeah. Still a good awareness from Hayes, the Norse DI in, get hit by the ball in order to survive the initial header and holding down the ledge. This is kind of the game plan that John tries to incentivize, but because Diddy Kong can do it semi-autonomously, holy moly, you exploded. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> deep, I mean, deep breathing back here, like, forget whatever momentum Hayes was starting, just an instantaneous deep breathing charge, a frame four back air on reaction to any pressure, John Numbers escapes that game with a win. Right. I think Hayes also probably was like, I need to get out of here. I just hit John Number Shield. I tried to hold back and immediately got hit and flew off the right side. But great game. It was kind of the Hayes show for the first two and a half stocks. Right. But every time <laughs> you see one of the players get to the platform and you kind of reassess the situation, it looked closer and closer for John. And then yep. eventually John took it. Absolutely. And speaking of, we're taking over t to Town & City. Um, Loki, big fan. The slings are a little bit bigger here. You have a little bit of uh, space to work around with, or more space to work around with than before. But 
Numbers also is just kind of on a tear. Yeah, you get the edge, you know, the edge here on, on the edge, on the ledge especially, but Hayes is still kind of in the backseat by about 40%, and Numbers going for it all with a charge up smash, allowing Hayes to find that end leg and punish him for that option. I'm, well, I just gotta shout out to Monkey Kick. It does it all, apparently. Yeah. Did you see it? Like, just get through every hitbox, clank, and then make it back to the stage. But I guess we fit back air. Also, not a bad move. Yeah. Remember, everyone, John will look at you in the eye and tell you we fit hitboxes are bad. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> Like, I can't. My brother in Christ. We <laughs> fit hitboxes, pays taxes, <laughs> does my 9 to 5, <laughs> does everything, cooks, cleans. Uh, it. I'm watching Hayes play oh. his. U oh wow! That was almost I was ready cool. for it all. <laughs> <laughs> I just I've seen too much John numbers. Once a banana hit, I was like, that's it. That's it. <laughs> GG. Oh, oh wait, nice that's pickup. actually it though. On the platform, good platform extension. I really want to say just kind of push John into that blast zone a little bit further. Now we know it's a little bit, you know, because they're a little bigger. The consistency is very much there. And now we're just rolling with the punches. Hayes, although at 101, two stocks, still bringing it all. Unfortunately, gets hit with the big old sun and numbers trying to get that dash tech on shield, but not gonna be enough. Ooh. Love the up usage from Hayes there, but we're going a little too far, best where we go. He wanted it. He wanted it. I respect it though. Like Hayes is all in on this idea of I need to win the off stage game. How do I beat John Numbers? Don't let him get to ledge. Kill him before he gets to ledge. And you know what? Like he's kept himself in in games. He's found multiple down airs to close out stocks. The platform extension you mentioned earlier, Mont, being a very heads up from Hayes. He's playing with a fire in him to close out stocks as early as possible, and I can't blame him. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I definitely enjoy the passion. I would just, you know, like to see slightly more results, but <laughs> sure. John, John Numbers does make it hard. We're in a results-based business. Yeah. This <laughs> <laughs> Hayes, I need this John Numbers on. I need the stock on my desk in f five minutes. We got a KPI coming up, brother. Okay. This is he. Oh, no, the banana tripped him up. It was so unfortunate. The department is, yes. is angry right now. <laughs> This business allegory <laughs> is <laughs> sending me. Hold on, though. My work meeting is in five minutes. <laughs> Where's my PowerPoint? Okay. <laughs> yeah. He's low the HR. ROI on those. <laughs> they have been <laughs> paying dividends. That big meaty hitbox. I could do this all day, but I. <laughs> oh, oh where's your reports? <laughs> They're coming. You're honest. You're, yeah. You make it around, Hayes. Very good maneuvering from numbers, and now we do a little bit of a trip, like my reports, but it's okay. Don't know where we're going. We're going to give our first touch of tag. Uh, this grab should be a pretty rough spot for Hayes, though. He's going to set up for the edge guard here. Oh, the banana, though. Not really finding the mark. Hayes makes it back to center, and down tilt is so much damage. The banana, though, hasn't really been finding the mark. John Numbers catching it mid-air. What is going on? <laughs> you wanted the hard-ass down there read it. Impossible. We didn't believe! Dad, we didn't believe! Away. It's like John Numbers is right next to me. I gotta get out of here. <laughs> is he behind me? Is he, is he behind me? He's right behind you. <laughs> I'm sorry to tell you. John Numbers is right behind you, Hayes. Hayes, don't, if you look too fast, he's still gonna fly away. <laughs> oh, my oh God. no, this is very unserious. <laughs> oh, no. It's great. Oh, and oh, the pivot. Okay. Hayes is active secondary, though he does not oh. bring it out unless absolutely needed. The Rob is coming to play. They don't see it. Okay, they, now they see it. Yeah, <laughs> They're probably like, is. what are you talking about, Ubo? Yeah, there it is. <laughs> There's a Rob. It's in camo mode, too. You can't even see him. It's a green robber. Robot. Okay. I don't think I've ever seen... I didn't know we had a green robber. I've yeah. never <laughs> seen the new. green robber in my life. <laughs> what skin is this? But uh, this pretty interesting match. Uh, off stage, obviously, the Rob show. So if John does make any sort of missteps, it's going to be, you know... Hayes' opportunity to kind of punish and run away with it. However, the combo game is very John Numbers favored, which we've already seen so far mm -hmm. early on in this game. But this could be a big opportunity. We have the down air to worry about. We have the side special, the gyro, of course, and the beam also helps out. And just a raw side special, 90 after the hit. And uh, I'm starting to see why the secondary is good. Yeah. You know, we're in a we're in a two-character meta, unless you're playing <laughs> one of two characters. So. <laughs> true, true. Like, do say Jose. <laughs> oh, but you're big. I mean, I'm a fan of the Rob pick. Only here, John has so much experience with this character between the likes of before she retired Dill, of course, um, before Zomba stopped taking the ferry to Zeno, <laughs> Zomba, 
and uh, uh, the, kind of what other robs here. John, yeah, gets tripped up for the first couple of minutes into this new rob pick, but now suddenly Hayes is kind of falling into the numbers play. Numbers able to control exactly where Hayes goes, where Hayes can't go, where Hayes can go, and uh, just maneuvering this platform and manipulating the, the matchup to his favor. Look at that parry into F2. What are you going to do about that? Yeah, I was going to say, John is also just placing the hitboxes so beautifully. Really spacing around all of the Rob moves, timing the parries nearly perfectly every time. It's looking pretty tough so far, but still make it happen. One or two crazy interactions from Hayes can steal that stock from John Numbers. Yeah, all right. up air foul up from Numbers in order to catch the, uh, the run off the platform. And one of the biggest downsides, I feel like, oh, wait a minute. Okay, the combo ends there with a forward air from Hayes. <laughs> but one of the biggest downsides, I feel like, of Hayes playing into numbers has been like Hayes' natural game plan mm. is typically very movement centric. And doing a lot of excess movement creates patterns. And one of John's biggest strengths is pattern recognition. He's able just to find and intercept Hayes and so many of these opportunities on and off of stage that's netted him so much extra damage. What's well, a mix up here? Oh, we get out and we drop down the back yard of our own. Hayes looking a little bit lost here. Has to use a gyro a little bit. Make some stays happen. And John is really well, aware, well aware of that. Guess that how long? We saw how long that rolling was. Please. <laughs> My girl went from the ledge over to the center stage. I'm sick. She is fit. <laughs> Hayes is next to me. I gotta get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, John. Perfect platform configuration for John Numbers, too, here. Sun Salutation high, goes low to get the header. What? Forward? Up throw. Gonna not do it, but Ooh. the beam does somehow. Deep breathing immediately off of that angel platform. Look at, look at, look at John. You he's, saw how he just... He's right he, behind he, you. He, he's, he's right behind you. He's right behind you. And he ended up being right in front of you with that forward throw to finish it out. A couple with deep breathing. Mm -hmm. It was GG's no read. We are going right next to... I guess John is moving on throughout Luda's top six. Hayes gets knocked out, unfortunately, for him. But had a great display. Yes, the score may, see, may say 3-0, but he put up a fight for with the Diddy and the Raw for a yep. good portion of that third set, of, of that third match. And a lot of the game started Hayes' favor, too. I yeah. think you can kind of keep that momentum up in future sets. It could be a very different game, very different set count, if anything. But really good showing from everybody. I think we're getting some fantastic matches here in top eight. Yeah, I, I completely agree, AG. Like the time and time again, it felt like Hayes knew how to start games, but it was always closing them out. That was the problem. As you mentioned very early in like the start of the set month, Time and time again, Numbers wants these sets and these games to go long because yep. he wants to find and recognize these, the patterns in his opponent. He wants to slowly whittle down their patience and where they give something up. Uh, and Hayes, while despite starting strong, Numbers stuck to his game plan, made the game drag on a little bit longer than what Hayes wanted to, and Numbers found himself on the victory screen at the end of every single game because of it. Absolutely. You know, he's right behind you, like I yeah, saying. Yeah, he's right there. He's right behind you. Don't 